Look how much activity is around that trap right now. Wow, something's spining me. Oh! This place is a complete mystery to me. Guys, look. Wow, he's a little baby Geo. And then, oh, these are sword tails. Welcome back to Rob's Aquatics, guys. In today's video, we're going to be setting a ton of fish traps at a bunch of different locations because the weather, although it has cleared up right now, it has overall been super poor. So that's the game plan for today. And I also might be, I'm going to be checking at a house, right? Well, it's not a house, it's like a town home but i'm going to be checking that out so setting a bunch of fish traps will enable us to accomplish both goals of finding a place to live and also catching a ton of aquarium fish but before we get into the video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications i think the first location we're going to set a fish trap at is the spot with a ton of jewel cichlids and other exotic i also want to set a trap at the clown loach location because it's been a while since we've been there and then we might pop over to another one of the locations that we've been to in the past just to see what we can do i think maybe three traps should be good i'll get them baited up and all that and we'll start popping around the spots check what changed hopefully none of the traps actually get stolen because that would suck a lot but today should be a good day it cleared up a little bit but the rain is gonna be crazy throughout the rest of the day if not we might net around like if the weather ends up changing you know florida's pretty bipolar we'll probably start netting around but if not we got traps in the water regardless and it should be a good day they put a little spillway right here this doesn't seem too stable <laughs> should be fine though we're just gonna take this trap and throw it in the middle. Oh, I just saw a bunch of big fish down there. Okay, so this trap should be successful. Um, let's take a little second to see if it actually moved from this location. I don't think it will. I think it's going to stay. So that's probably the perfect spot to place that trap. Oh, look at all the little baby fish right here. I don't know if you guys can see them or if they're even still. Yeah, you can see them. Look how many little cichlids there are. So this canal is loaded. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So many big cichlids right here. So we're going to leave this trap right here and head out to another location, probably the clown load spot. And then I'm going to pick one more because I got three traps on me right now. I got to update the wish list. And you guys might be like, Rob, you just got a trout in a truck. Guys, you're right. You're right. I did. But thing is, it's expensive. It's really expensive. You know, like I, I got to try to cut down costs so I can't afford to do that. You know, I, I got lucky that I had the funds, like I saved enough to do that. But hey, we're heading out to the next spot. The realtor called actually, and so I'm heading to the spot. It looks pretty promising. Like if I do actually take the deal, you know, and go with it, you know, I'll have the freedom to have a fish room. I could even start breeding and selling fish. It's two bedroom, two bath. I definitely probably do need a roommate. So if actually, if you guys are interested, any of you are interested, literally DM me if you're in Florida or plan to go to Florida want to move in dm me and you know we could split the cost of it or whatever we could work out the details then but we're heading there right now it's actually relatively close to the everglades which is cool because you know gators um actually that's dangerous but it's looking promising so i'm heading there to check it out i'll let you guys know i might even pull out my phone take a few clips of the interior to show you guys but it's got a garage a single a one car garage which could be a fish room all sorts of stuff so we'll see what it do all right so now that's out of the way we're going to head over to the clown loach location and actually set a trap there to see what fish we could pull up uh the location it's great location like it's a really nice area but i'm not really too hot on the place itself like the garage is a lot smaller than i anticipated but the main room is pretty big so i could put some stuff in there i'm not really too sure how i feel about it. i'll throw up some clips as i'm talking about it but Overall, it's an option. Literally, we're just looking for options right now. But we're gonna head over to the clown loach location and set a trap. The weather looks like it's picking up and about to dump again. So, traps should do fine. I figured we'd stop by the trap to make sure it's still in the spot, and it is. So that means we're gonna head over to the clown loach location and drop our next fish trap. The water level at this location is super, super low today. And just in the event a turtle happens to get in the trap again like they did last time, we're gonna just take this trap we're gonna just drop it in this little shallow part right here i'm gonna have to rotate it so the bait actually goes in the water even maybe try to find a slightly deeper little pocket like this right here should be just fine so i'm gonna try to throw that right there it might be a little annoying to try to get back but nothing should happen to it hopefully a turtle doesn't get into it it actually probably needs to be a little bit higher so i'll probably fish it back out and pull it up a little bit just in the event a turtle does get in there but we're gonna head out to one more spot to set another fish trap and i'm thinking maybe the old tetra spot that's what i'm thinking so we're gonna head out there and see what we could do that's actually hilarious guys look how much activity is around that trap right now all the fish just woke up because of the food. 
I had to channel my inner mountain goat to get down to this location. We have never fished this one before. It is completely new. I have literally no idea what fish are in here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we do catch something from here. This will probably be, I mean, hopefully, I don't actually even see any fish right now. Canal's looking pretty quiet, but it looks kind of promising. You know, there's some vegetation. You can tell the heat's brought the water level down a lot, but we're just gonna take this trap right here and I'm literally just gonna throw it. What was that? <laughs> I'm gonna throw it right there and hopefully, guys, it pulls up some fish. Uh, if it rolls around a little bit, even if it gets submerged up a little bit, that's fine. But now we're gonna let the trap sit in the water for a while, let them marinate, and we'll double back to that first trap and see what we caught. We're now back at the first fish trap. It's sitting right there. So I'm gonna grab this net right here and see if we can't fish out the trap right here. See if there's anything in there. The rain's been on and off today, but kind of hopeful. Oh, look at that. I was gonna scoop the whole trap in this one net. Oh, that's actually kind of fun. Ooh, okay, I see some fish. I'm slipping into the canal. Please stop, please, I hope. But I see some fish in, ooh, let's go. I see some jewel cichlids already, but we're gonna, it doesn't look like we actually caught all that many fish in this trap. I see a spotted tilapia. I'm probably gonna try my best to just grab this trap and get all the fish just in the bucket. And then we'll inspect everything from the bucket right here so i got i think that's already all the fish out of the strap i don't think i see a single other fish in here so i'm just gonna throw this up top oh <laughs> wow look at this guys so we're gonna sort through this trap or this bucket and see what we got in the trap oh look at that a big tetra i don't know what species this is but that's a huge tetra right there what are you guys some jewel cichlids we'll throw these guys back just because you know we're not keeping them but we'll put those jewels back what else do we get? Oh, wow. Okay, so we got two of these big fish. Are they tetras or are they like some species of shad? I don't know, but jewel cichlid right here and a uh, bluefin killifish. We'll put them back in the canal. Take another handful right here. Some more jewel cichlids. They're all female, it seems. Kind of strange. Okay, those two cool fish. We got a little tilapia right here, a spotted tilapia who jumped back in a jewel cichlid. Boom. Mosquito fish. Some more mosquito fish. <laughs> I literally saw so many more fish than this before we set the trap but there's definitely still a ton of jewels in this water right here so we'll just get these guys all back in the water the ones we're not keeping and it seems like we only caught like three oh what are you oh awesome <laughs> look there's a little tiny honey garami in here as well so you know what guys i think i'm done sorting through this we'll get a little bit more water in this bucket please don't escape guys please don't escape please don't escape please don't escape just so they're a little bit more comfortable. And so from this location right here, guys, it seems as though we only caught four exotic fish. I think three of those shiny, like whitish grayish fish, and then one honey gar garami right there. So we're gonna get them all back into the truck bed. I'm just gonna keep them in the bucket for the time being. And we're gonna head out to the next trap at the clown loach spot to see what we caught in there. I've got the net and our keeper bucket right here. And we're back at this location where we caught the clown loaches that one time. So we're gonna bring our net over here. Oh, almost threw it. And see if we can't, hopefully we did get some more loaches cause I would love to throw them in the discus tank. Even though we do need to move that tank at some point cause you know, we're actively searching for a new spot to live. Hopefully we'll be able to actually keep my entire discus tank. We'll have to break it down and rescape it, but that's just more fun. But we got, see, not a lot of fish in the traps today, which is strange. Usually we always catch a ton of fish, but let's look in here and see what we caught. I don't want to do that same method again, just because, ow, ow, something's spining me. Oh, oh, wow, he's huge. Look at the size of the barbs on him. You guys see that? Look at the size of the barbs on his face. That's what I was feeling. Okay, that is awesome. We didn't catch any big clown loaches last time. I see a nice sized jewel in here. I didn't actually catch any of these last time either. I got him back in the water. And let's see, I'm scared now because those clown loaches have crazy barbs. So if there's more of them in here, we're definitely getting tagged. But a ton of jewels this time around. These guys must have moved in. I'm not really too sure. We got a molly in here. Kind of lame. Get back in the water. Any more fish. So we got a ton of jewels in here. That's always cool to be honest. I do like jewels. They're super colorful. You guys always ask me to keep them but I just have nowhere to put them. When I move potentially we could set up like a little jewel breeding tank. And my goal with the new property is to have enough space to actually keep and breed fish, collect fish, and then actually sell them back to you guys. But we're gonna keep going through this trap right here. And I'm just, I'm not really seeing any more fish that are like notable, but we're gonna keep sorting. Oh, wait, did I just see another loach? Oh, is this a loach? Oh, <gasps> no way. 
He's tiny. Hold on, guys. <laughs> oh my god. A beautiful little baby loach. Definitely getting him in the keeper bucket. I'm gonna have to sort this out when we get back to the house. But we still got one more trap to check. We gotta make sure there's nothing left in this one. Some big old jewels. Nothing too, too crazy. Trying to get all the big fish out of here because I think the rest of these are just some mosquito fish. Get them back in the canal. You see how the wind took them? But I'm not sure if I see anything notable. And the rest of this trap. Big jewel. That is a beautiful male. We we'll get all these guys back in the water. Oh! <laughs> Let's go. Another little loach. Hopefully he's not harmed in any way. Sometimes this trap like guillotines fish. And I don't know where he flopped to. I'll try to get them all in the center. Look at that. We only caught clown loaches this time around. Last time we caught some coolie loaches, I believe, as well. A, a tiny little clown loach in the fish trap. That is gorgeous. And I'm not seeing anything else in here. We got another monster jewel cichlid. Get him back. These would be perfect in a little tank. But we're going to get the rest of these fish back in the water. I'm not seeing anything else in here. And then we're going to drive on over to that third location we have never fished before. I actually got to try to track down where I put the trap. I didn't mark it on the map, but I don't actually remember where I left it. So it's going to take me a little second to actually find it. But once we do, hopefully there's some cool fish in there. But so far, pretty successful day. I'm pretty sure the trap is right down there, guys. And we got to be careful. It is super, super steep down this canal. So so I'm probably gonna grab our little bucket here and we gotta be careful because it is so steep. So what I'm probably gonna do is guys, I'm probably gonna bring the trap up from the canal and just run it up the slope into our keeper bucket just because it is really steep. It's gonna be very hard to actually check the trap when we're actually down there. So that's gonna be the game plan. We're just gonna run down and try to collect it real quick. <sighs> I got the string. We had to sacrifice a, so oh. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> but I got the trap. Oh! Okay, so there's a lot of fish in here. We're just gonna try to grab this and run it up really fast. Parkour! It's like basically a 90 degree cliff. All right, mission accomplished. All right, what is in this new canal? This place is a complete mystery to me. Let's see here. Any cool fishes? Looks like a lot of bigger cichlids. Ooh, right off the top, I was able to see this guy right here. Beautiful little molly or platy right here. What are you? tilapia we got a mine cichlid right here i'm just gonna try to get these big guys out of here real fast what is this we got a little chub i think mud minnow whatever you want to call oh <laughs> what <laughs> guys <laughs> wow he's beautiful there's a little baby iridescent shark right there but a lot of cichlids in this canal oh what are you smaller cichlid Oh, you know what this might be? This could be a little geo. You know, when they're this size, they're very easy to recognize. I think that's a little baby geophagus. Oh, tilapia and a mine cichlid. Here, let's get these big fish out of here. Ow! Every time I get stabbed. Mosquito fishing. Ow, dude. I just got stabbed like three times. That's really sick, guys. A little peacock bass. Anything else worth mentioning? Oh, look at this. We got some smaller fish in the back right here. A little baby geo and then, oh, these are sword tails. These aren't mollies or platies. These are little sword tails. We'll get them in a the bucket. That's everything out of the trap worth keeping. I don't see any small, I see a bluegill in the corner. Looks like that's everything in the trap guys, except for these non-native species that we don't want to keep. Oh wait, I see a little molly right here or sword tail. Beautiful, Beautiful little sword tail here guys. We'll get him in the keeper bucket and the rest of these will return back to the canal And all the fish we have in the keeper bucket that are worth keeping we're gonna bring back to the house right now So mildly successful day at the canal. I don't know what's up with the lighting right now, but kind of successful We did catch a few cool fish every canal we caught something cool, which is nice But we're gonna run back to the house real quick and get them in a tank so now we're back at the house with the new fish that we caught and we're going to actually put them in the 55 gallon tank behind me again guys i know you all are probably like, why are you getting like why are you adding fish you're gonna be moving soon it's fine it's fine we caught them like what else am i gonna do i can't just put them back in the canal like they're cool you know what i mean so now i'm tasked with actually catching these guys out and i think this big loach i'm probably gonna put with the this fit like most of these fish, I think we're going to put in the 55, except for like the little tiny itty bitty baby guys. But we'll get these guys added in right here. They should get along just fine with the rest of the crew. If you guys can identify this in the comments below, let me know. I don't think I've ever caught something quite like that. Oh, little hunting garami. Come here, buddy. Get him in there. And we could also do a feeding of the 50 or the 150 gallon tank with all the neon t or cardinal tetras. These guys have been doing incredible, like do super well. One of the little clown loaches right there doing good as well. Like everybody in this tank is doing really well. The discus all excited to eat. <laughs> they don't come up. So everything in this tank is doing great. We just got to grab out 
all the fish we're keeping. All right, we got this guy with the super big bar. We're gonna get him in here as well. Boom, there he goes. And the little loaches. Oh, what are you, sword tail? Yeah. Oh, wait, what are you? Little jewel cichlid, little baby clown loach. We're gonna put him in the little quarantine tank. Oh, we got this little iridescent shark as well. I think he'll do just fine in a 55 gallon tank. What else is in here? Oh, another little clown load. I don't want to put anything from this call directly into the discus tank. So we're going to add him in here with the boys. And I think all that's left. Oh, one of these. Get this guy in here with the rest of the gang. There he goes. And I think all that's left are these big old fish. Like, I don't know if they're like some kind of shad, shiner. There's something cooler. I've never seen them before. Oh, that's a jewel. But we're going to get these guys in the 55 gallon tank. And I think there's only one more fish. So the volume today was not there at any of the locations. But it could just be because of the weather. And now that all the keeper fish are loaded into the tanks, I'm going to do a quick little feeding of both and just show you guys before I send you on your way. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go, boys. Just like that, everybody's gonna start feasting. And you can see the turtle tetras, they immediately just shoot into action and go for some food. Even the little wonky guys down there looking for some. But these guys just absolutely tear it up. And I think it's keeping the tank a lot cleaner because before the discus would only eat so much and then a lot of the waste would get trapped in the back. But now with all these neon or cardinal tetras in here, and also look, the little clown loach is getting in on that. Everything gets picked up. Like there's never any food waste. So I think it's helping out the tank a lot. And then these guys, I literally never have an issue feeding. I just drop this in right here and they all just come <laughs> running. So everybody in the 55 gallon tank and everybody in the 150 gallon tank is doing great. Even the little clown or the big clown loach we just caught is perking up again after the stress from being caught. So he should do well. All these guys are gonna get their fill. But everything is going pretty smoothly. I'm going to continue searching for a property to live at. And in the meantime, I will get videos in either as I'm searching, like in between, and they could be like this, or if I have a full day where I already know I don't have any listings to check out, I'll just get down and dirty in the swamp but i hope you guys enjoy the video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications if you did and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces